Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is what I have promised you all, and it is a book tour. Now, look at that. That is amazing. Wow. Not really focused on that one right over there. That is my TBR shelf, but I think we're mainly going to be focused on this beautiful arrangement. I organized and rearranged these in a previous video if you're not sure why I'm doing this again <laughs> and I will link it in this video. But for those who know, we're going to start at the top. A lot of these are my husband's comics but he doesn't know where to put them because his bookshelf downstairs is full. It's overflowing and we need to get another bookshelf and then put his books on that bookshelf somewhere. Who knows where, but it is what it is. <laughs> we have problems with overflowing bookshelves. Though the Celts, uh, this one right here, it's a children's book about death and then Joseph Campbell and these that he bought me, really old books, those are for me. Cooking for Geeks, um, I guess it's for both of us. The um, survival hacks and the, what is that? Department of the Army. Yeah, that's his, but I guess the survival hacks could also be mine. And up here, we have the box sets, including my Funko Pops. I love them dearly. And I want to get more. I want to collect them all. <laughs> but um, I think half of these don't stand up on their own which is really annoying so I had I have to like lean them against the box set so I have to think about that <laughs> and how I, I don't want to get box sets just to line them up if they don't fall over but yeah I don't know why they make Funko Pops and that they don't stand on their own but I digress. Now we're going over here. Uh, this is going to be blank of books, but we do have the lovely crystal leprechaun hat. <laughs> this made in Ireland. And we have Buddha and this, that little, it's a hair piece. You might not think it's a hair piece, but it's a hair piece for my Renaissance outfit. This is a vase that I made in ceramics class. And this knife is uh, handmade, it's an eagle, and I got that in Colorado on our uh, road trip. This is another vase that someone else made but uh, finished it up. And this is the evil eye, I need to hang that somewhere. And this is from Ireland, it's from my grandmother uh, that she gave it to me before going into uh, assisted living facility because you can only choose so much stuff. And these two things minus the uh, bouquet for my wedding, uh, these two are my husband, but he doesn't have anywhere to put it. And since we're on this empty shelf, let's just go down. Um, this is the picture. Well, there's pictures in it, but uh, don't really want to show it because it has uh, family members in there including myself, but they want to remain anonymous. And I love this quote. <laughs> it's from the Mob Museum in Las Vegas. Put gambling on hold <laughs> or partying on hold for an hour or two. I'm probably going to say two. And go to the Mob Museum. It's amazing. Now we have um, just a girl who loves foxes. Duh, that's me. And um, okay, yeah, I want to smell like Japanese cherry blossoms sometimes. And uh, this is just random stuff, random stuff. But I am excited to at least have a empty bookshelf <laughs> because I haven't had that in at least five years. Now coming over to this top section right here, this section is called I Don't Care Publishers <clears throat> About Standard books trim size because I can't fit these anywhere. These are fine. I can't fit these anywhere. <laughs> so I'm just going to stay here. Hopefully I don't need to expand, but there's some room. So at least, you know, there's that. Um, this is kind of 
well, these are a little bit random right here, but this, of course, the same. This is a series, and we're going down. Hello, everyone loves <laughs> Gizmo in my comment section, or like they'll comment on Facebook. Oh, I see Gizmo. Does Gizmo talk? Let me see. No. Gizmo just chills. And I, you know, he doesn't talk. And so therefore I don't need to watch myself by not giving him a bath or feeding him after midnight. So he is an easier Gizmo compared to the movie. And this I got in Arizona on our trip. It's empty, but I really love the top. This is tile, if you couldn't figure that out. Now, going down, this is mainly, except the really old Jane Eyre <laughs> copy that I got from an English teacher in high school. This is all Philippa Gregory. And going down, this, okay, basically the bottom shelves are thick, heavy books because I am in earthquake country and that means I have to be careful with bookshelves and that means putting the really thick hardcover books on the bottom except for my friend Brianna's book right here <laughs> that's really thick um I should put it down on a bookshelf but you know it's just whatever <laughs> it fits there uh moving to this this is kind of random Mainly hard covers, but there's some thick uh, paperbacks. And down here, we just have an array of hard covers, and a lot of them, actually, half of them are my husband's. Like, I don't read Judge Dredd, for example, <laughs> and the like the cocktail stuff. Eh, I mean, it's ours, but it's he bought it. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge cocktail maker. It's just like, it's for parties whenever we have a party, which we really don't. But, you know, it's fine. And so we have a dapper fox. We're just going to set that down a little bit. These are mainly, actually, yeah, no. They are all paperbacks. This is a lot of Stephanie Dre. Why did I have this here? That's just Madeline Miller. <laughs> um, I still probably should make it a little more put together regarding at least similar um, books or something, but also eh, the same writer because I see here's Stephanie Miller up here and up, and up there. <laughs> okay, or Stephanie Dre. I was reading Madeline Miller in my head. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. It's morning filming this. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, my bookcase, bookcases, are pretty chaotic, just like my mind. So I think y'all are used to it. Now, up here, mainly, this is uh, Charlene Harris, of course. You can see that. And then um, random books like Stephanie Drake and some nonfiction. Moving over to here, this is mainly nonfiction, but also some paperback fiction. It was really what fits, <laughs> whatever, right? And I have my amethyst ball from my grandmother. And so, oh, here's Finnegan Fox. This is just a cute little cheeky fox that my husband got me because you know I love foxes y'all it's my favorite animal now going down is this is basically in Morgan Llewellyn and Irish section I have mostly used books by Morgan Llewellyn because a lot of her books are out of print and so they're they have to be used basically though I do have you know like that little section right there where it's not related to Ireland or Morgan Llewellyn whatsoever, but it's so green. Of course it's green. <laughs> and I'm hoping to get all of her books now and just kind of figure this out, probably move these somewhere because I want them all together. But you get to see a lot of green behind me because this is, this is where I usually am going to sit unless the sun does weird stuff which sometimes it does through my blinds so you'll mainly see that oh yes and um 
my that's for my grandmother as well and that's for my grandmother that's for my grandmother <laughs> and that is uh from new mexico one thing not for my grandmother okay <laughs> so this is a lot of hard covers with a little bit at, at the top right here of uh, paperbacks because they fit and then this part right here are my books, but they're, that's probably going to have to go on another shelf shortly when I'm writing my urban fantasy books because that's going to be a lot. And down here, I don't even know. This is, uh, well, we have this. This isn't in, um, in order. <laughs> I should probably make them in order, but I didn't think about that. Um, Aragon and Eldest are so old, they don't have the sleeve anymore, but inheritance and brisinger do but i'm not going to get new books whatever just random stuff random stuff i'm just gonna move over here as well on the bottom these three right here i got for my what was the title of that college course it was world literature hello yeah it was <laughs> that's a hint because that's what the book title says and so we like those were the three textbooks quote unquote that we had to buy and read and it was actually pretty good um though by the end I don't know if the professor liked me all that much because I think I got she gave me a d on the last essay <laughs> and I don't even know why oh well I got I still passed it was like a b but my complete works of Shakespeare and the Divine Comedy, loving it. Those are thick, so they definitely have to be down there. And my my all-time favorite, Demon Copperhead, down there, too. I kind of want to move it up here somewhere, somewhere, but I, I don't know. Now, going up here, this is the Sarah J. Mass section, and she's going to have to get another section soon because all she writes is thick books. So I might have to move them somewhere. Oh, and we have a dapper fox again. But this is my Tamora Pierce section. This is my James A. Owen section right here. And then Del Toro Quest series. This series, middle grade by uh, Emily Rada, got me into reading. And then I don't know how long it took to find... Uh, these books but that really solidified my love and also those as well so this is my middle grade love reading Ooh, and here's my uh amethyst rock it's a very good chunk and i forgot to say this is from egypt where my grandparents went in the 80s uh, so it's really old no idea if it's hand carved by someone there or whatever but it's it's at least a few decades old. Now, going up to here, love this. This was from Erica. Hello, Erica. Uh, and this is from the Cayman Islands. I don't think it has anything in it. No. I'm just gonna move that over yonder. This is the Iron Druid Chronicles section right here. And right here is my Carrie section. Love her. I'm waiting on the, is it the 23rd book? I think it's the 23rd book to come out and release in the US because I, I, I do love her. But I'm not paying $40 <laughs> for her latest book, but her latest book comes out in November and it's like reasonably priced, amazing. So I'm still waiting on that, but it's gonna go here, right there, yeah. And so that is it for my tour. I cut it a little shorter than the other one because y'all have seen it before. Well, you've seen the stuff here. I didn't need to go into great detail. But I might move things around once again. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this, though I think I might have to put the Stephanie Dre books together right there. From there but I mean they're at least they're on the same bookshelf <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself props for that 
But thank you so much for watching my bookcases tour and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Keep reading, keep writing, keep doing what you want to do to make yourself chillax because it's been stressful the past few years. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.